So, hello to all Iraqi photographers. My name is Daniel Kordan. I'm landscape and travel photographer from Russia, from cold mother Russia. So here is my exposition from Russia with love, from the north, of course, with the snow. And I want to give you one advice, one main advice, how to be able, how you can be able to achieve this kind of project. This project about local Nenets people that live in the north, very harsh life. And this advice will be to be out of your comfort zone. It's almost impossible to shoot something different on you when you're in comfort, when you're in your shiny car or where you're in your apartments. You are stuck in the circles. To be able to break the circle, you need to go out of your comfort. Let's say go to Russia, go to the north. You'll be cold, you'll be just in these challenging conditions. But these conditions, they produce adventures. They produce something different of your own imagination. So sometimes we're lost in the circle, but going out of the comfort, you break the ice, you break the circle and do something different. This is how I do photography. I challenge myself to go to different tribes. It may be in Africa, it may be in Russia, in uh, just, I have nothing but my sleeping bag, very basic food. I stay with the family, stay with local people and try to connect with them. How I connect with them? It's a good question because I try also to build a community, not just with these people, but with photographers. So I wish you guys that uh, you actually will build a nice community among uh, Iraqi people, be very friendly to each other, help each other to be able to make such a project. Help within this community of photographers, that means a lot. So be, kind, be kind, be friendly to each other and take yourself out of the comfort. This is it. Exactly about three years ago and before I was shooting just landscape with no people. But then I started to travel to wild places with the tribes and understand that these people, they live in harmony with nature. And it's really essential, important to uh, bring this idea to the world that we can actually live in harmony with nature. So landscape images, okay, they're impressive, they're nice, but this is a story about us human living on our planet. And most of people, they live, how they live? They live in the city, they produce plastic, they go for money after money, but this is not uh, why I'm here on a planet. I also need to protect it, I need to live in harmony with the nature. And there is a lot to learn from these people. So knowing this idea, it uh, helped me to change my genre of photography towards beautiful people in beautiful nature. And since then it was the idea, it has a lot of feedback as well. So these people, nationalities, tribes around the world, they see how beautiful they are, how colorful they are. Because uh, what we do is uh, becoming, uh, the world becoming very global. We are losing our color. We forget about our ancestors, our culture. And this leads just to a global gray world, very dull world that uh, most probably will uh, consume and uh, kill our planet. So bringing the color of these people and color of the nature together, this is the idea for my future projects. So to communicate with these people, you must live with them. So it's not a tourist thing at all. You must come and stay with community and help them. Only by helping these people, like from, from your heart, from your soul, you can uh, achieve some result like this. So you need to live this life. It's just impossible to come for one day or two days, make click, click, click. They, it will not be natural. They will not, uh, it will not produce any results. Just stay there and uh, help them. This is the key. And then uh, for landscape photography, one golden advice is, it's my personal style, how I do my images. Okay, if you come to location, just also look always under your feet. Because what we see, okay, we see some mountains, we can make a postcard. Yeah, just maybe the lake and the mountains, that's it. But I always try to find different angles. I look under my feet, try to find foregrounds that can form a leading line, that can form uh, some rhythms uh, corresponding to the rhythms of the background. 
So it's uh, landscape, it's mostly about how you interact with your foregrounds. And uh, the first thing that I do is always try to search for flowers, for rocks, for reflections on the foreground. Perfect. Advice number one. Do you have another advice to want to give the Iraqi photographers on that tip? I have many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one extra. extra but shot. this was the best one, so one we best. can uh, keep to that. Just So guys, uh, Iraqi photographers also come to Russia, come to our country. It's beautiful, it has a lot of nationalities, very hard, welcome people. So you are very welcome in Russia. If you need something, just let me know, right? Thank you so much for, for, for your interest. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome.